Hey guys, so I made a forge and I made a brick red hot. I don't know how. A, a leaf blower hooked up to a pipe, hooked up to this. There was a red hot brick. It's freaking hot. I'm on aluminum right now. I got one in guy right here. It's probably a quarter of a pound. It's really nice though. And then my friend brought over some bismuth. So we're making some bismuth crystals. Sorry if you can't hear me. They're real nice. We're gonna, he's gonna sell these on eBay or something. Uh oh. Well, it's shooting out fire and flames and uh, hot things. I just got hit by one. The bricks are cracking a lot. Probably because they're red hot. Look at that. I'm gonna shut it off now and pull out the um the metal. I can't show you that part because uh, I'm not recording on a phone. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the aluminum out and cast it in that cat dish. And we're gonna get another ingot, probably bigger. Okay. Okay, so I've opened it up, and I don't know if you can see that. You can see that bowl of molten aluminum. Put some more pieces in. Gonna turn it back on. It's about to spill, so I gotta fix that. And I'm gonna pour it all out into that dish. Nice big ingot. So let's go. This is so cool. First time I've ever done it. Melted aluminum, that is. I melted zinc and lead and bismuth. Aluminum first time. Once again, nice ingot. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, hot right, aluminum, we already put it in the water, but we're gonna do it again. Oils, really hot. I think it's good. So let's see. Wait, I'm gonna put it back in the water. This is why leaf blow is good for fires. Leave it in there for a minute. And I'll make more business. I think I will. Really no, that'll work because the aluminum doesn't melt at the same temperature. Now we have four. Okay. Sweet. We'll show you the bismuth. So we'll go do that now. Make a picture. Yeah. You put it up so, on Instagram before me. I know, I'm going to. Hey guys, so, um, we made some bismuth crystals. These are really nice. Some yep, new. I love them. The aluminum slag. Well, this was full of the aluminum. It spilled out of the pot, so there it is. It's like three-eighths of a pound. Then we got some other stuff going to melt down. And then we got another ingot. So you have two nice size ingots. Those are probably a quarter pound each. Then this little guy, which is pretty cool, I think. This pan, which we're gonna take apart and melt down with the rest. We're gonna get some cans, try to melt. You wanna those. show them all the business that we got? Yeah. So this piece is pretty cool because we just dumped it out on the brick, and that's bismuth. This is bismuth. That's bismuth. You wanna oh. go to the table? No. Look at that. That's all the uh, crystals. So now we're gonna show you the ones we already made. So here's what we already made. Some of them are. Yeah. Oh, dang. Yeah, gotta love them. That's a good one. Some bigger ones, some smaller ones that are good. That one's pretty good. Pretty cool. I'm gonna keep making them. I'm gonna make more aluminum. Then after we do all the aluminum, we're gonna do copper. we we'll try to get copper. We made bricks red hot, so I think we could do it. So, let's go make more. Okay, so we're done casting aluminum. We ended up casting a bunch more, so we have one, two, three, four, five, and then technically six, but this one's a little small and this one's a little small. Six chunks, like we'll call that five. And the total is why did it turn off? One second. Okay, so the total is one thousand one hundred and ninety six point two grams. Divide that by four hundred and fifty four and you get the amount of pounds it is. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so just calculate it, it's two point six three pounds. So it's a little over two and a half pounds, which is a decent amount of copper. You say I mean copper. copper, aluminum. I'm gonna try <laughs> copper next because I'm pretty sure we hit that temperature hot enough to do it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Thanks for watching. Goodbye.